we will create the following 3D model using Katiavi 5. As you can see right here, what we have is this shape extruded along this direction, this length. The second thing that we have is two rounded, two circles uh, extruded along these directions, this direction at different positions. And that would be pretty much it because then you, we just have to create some different holes, a through all holes. Maybe this is not a true hole, but we are going to to analyze that later within the views of the engineering draw, right? So at first, as always, we have to make sure that we are using two things or that we are have two things. The first one is the unit system that the engineering draw it's using as you can see right here this engineering draw made by Luis Miguel Werfono Garzón does not contain any information about that uh, it doesn't say if um, it, if it's working in millimeters if it's working in inches maybe foot something like that uh, feet sorry so we can assume that we are working in millimeters. The second thing is that we are going to start by the view that contains the most information possible. As you can see, what we have right here is one, two, and three views. I can assume that this is the front view. This is the uh, like upper, the top view. This is the lateral view. Um, I can assume that but the engineering draw does not contain information about that because this symbol or this symbol should be the one that tells me how this engineering draw is created specifically talking about the views but since he just plays this like I don't know why it doesn't show any information I'm going to assume that this is the top view, this is the front view, and this is the lateral view. Alright? Please do not do this. If you are creating an engineering draw, the first thing that you have to make sure is that the person who is going to read it uh, understands basically all the, the information within that, like that report, that engineering draw because you cannot you can you'd have to make sure that your engineering draws are to be like foolproof so this is a pretty good example of how not to do the things right the proportionals the proportions of the engineering drives are not good this is too small for this huge view, but whatever, it is what it is. We have to work with what we have right here. Now, <clears throat> we're going to start by clicking on, let me close this. And we're going to start by from scratch. So we're going to click on file, new, we're going to write down part enter this is going to be the name of the part so i'm going to call it for example tutorial x since i don't truly remember the the number of the tutorial that that we are that we are working on i just lost the count <clears throat> uh, we're going to just click on a sketch i want to select the x y plane because i want to create my sketches uh, on that plane and the first thing is to create the shape that we have right here all right then we are going to create this extrusion which corresponds to this circle then we're going to create this other extrusion and then we're going to start creating the holes as you can see right here right here and right here and finally, um, what we're going to do is to add the 
feel it. Right? So we're going to start. We're going to click on profile, the profile option. Let me move right here. I want to create just the shape. I don't really care about the dimensions just yet. As you can see, I've created an arc just maintaining the left click and like describing the, the shape of the arc. We're going to do it again. So click right here. I maintain and press and I do like I'm creating the shape of the arc. And then I like uh, stop clicking. And the, the rest is pretty, pretty much the same. Same thing. Right here, right here, and right here. All right, so as you can see, I've not touched the origin. So what I have to do is to, by maintaining the control key and selecting the two, the two points, I'm going to select this tool, constrain definition, and click on coincidence for me to be sure that everything is closed. Then I'm going to start creating all that I need for me to <clears throat> define the, the, the sketch. Uh, what I have right here is this dimension. This dimension. Um, this dimension. Sorry, control C. Control C, Control Y. I want to select this point and this point. Right. As you can see, the lines are still in white. So I'm going to move to analyze what's moving. All right. This should be vertical. So vertical. And this as well there we go all right so we have our shape we have our dimensions for us to define this sketch um and now we're going to look for that information within the engineering draw so the first one is the diameter of this circle as you can see right here in this section view, I have this diameter, which is equal to 44 millimeters. Let me see. Okay, right here I have as well the 44 millimeters. Do not do this. All right, this is a mistake. Why is that? Because this engineering draw is over constrained. If you are placing this dimension right here, you don't have to, or you must not you must not do this right because that would mean that that this view is not necessary because it, it is only using this dimension so i can save that space and maybe with that space saved i can like distribute the dimensions uh, of the views better because this is a problem, as I said before. Now, <clears throat> we're going to change those dimensions using this tool, which is Edit Multi Constraint. As you can see right here, I can confirm or I can be sure that I'm working on millimeters. Now, this offset is, as you can see, equal to 16 millimeters. So, 16 uh, this diameter this uh, diameter which is the radius um, is equal to 6 because we are doing just the whole uh, so that would mean that the diameter is 6 but here as you can see is asking for the radius so I'm going to write down 3 now this is equal to 26 as you can see right here mm. 
this is equal to let me see okay right here i have the 94 dimension of the complete of the entire part that would mean that i should subtract bear with me i should subtract the radius to the complete dimension uh, that would represent the 94 millimeters and i'm able to find this dimension so 94 minus the radius which is uh, equal to 22 so 94 minus 22 and right here i can see the radius because it is 22 so 22 half of the 44 di dimension that we have right there preview okay all right as you can see right here we have our first sketch we're going to get out of this sketch and we're going to shoot it using the path definition tool let me look for this dimension um right here we have all right right here we have 38 millimeters minus 26 is going to give me this dimension which is the one that i'm looking for so 38 minus 26 enter right there we have it now we're going to create the first version of the big circle which is this one um i'm going to call this this edge within the sketch that I'm currently doing, so I'm going to select it, click OK, but I want it to be created for construction purposes, so I'm going to select this tool, and as you can see, it is created by, like, dotted line. That means that it is not going to be shown, but it helps me for me to create the, the, the real uh, circle. I'm going to look for the center, and I'm going to select this sketch, as you can see, this circle I want it to be created like that I want it to be shown. So I'm going to select this tool. And that would be pretty much it. Because all I have to do is to ex exit this sketch and create a path definition as well. So this has a dimension of 26, as you can see right here. So 26, enter. Um, and right here we have our first uh, path now we're going to create the second one which is this little this uh, yeah little circle so we're going to create it right here and then we're going to define it by using the the definition tool now let me see where I, where i can find this information all right right here for here we have a 15 diameter with a hole a through all hole of six millimeters uh, so at first i want to create just the definition of the circle but not the hole so this is equal to 15 enter uh yep the diameter and then i'm going to define the position of this circle right here so with respect of this edge we have 38 and with respect of this other we have 12. all right there we have it then i'm going to shoot it I'm going to shoot it 30 millimeters with respect of the point zero that would represent that I should subtract 30 minus this dimension which is um, 38 minus 26 as you can see right here this dimension is the same dimension 
So 38 minus 10 is 26, that would be 10. Uh, 18 minus 6, so 12. And 30 minus, minus 12 would be uh, 20, uh, 18. So I'm going to suit it. I use a path definition tool and I'm going to use 18 millimeters and that would be pretty much it. Then we're going to create the sketch for the through all holes. So I have to call this circle and this circle. As we did before for construction purposes. Then I'm going to select this tool because I want it to be shown. I'm going to look for the center. Right here we have it. And I'm going to define the circle with this image, 40. Right, so 14, enter. Then the other one. This has a dimension of 6, a diameter of 6 millimeters, so 6, enter. Um, yep, that looks good. Uh, then I get out of this sketch. And I'm going to create a pocket. This pocket is going to be through all, so up to last. Preview. Okay. And right there we have it. Now. There is this other hole, which is not a through all hole, but it has a dimension of 6 millimeters. So we're going to create that one. I'm going to select this face for me to create a sketch. Then I'm going to look once more for the center of the circle that I'm going to call. It's basically the same story. Going to, to we're doing basically like a repetition of of steps this has a diameter of 28 as you can see right here then double click 28 enter that would be pretty much it then I'm going to create a pocket with a dimension of six millimeters Enter, right there we have it, and what's left is to create the hole that we have with respect of this shape. So we're going to call it right there, and right here we have our... Right, so what I'm going to try to do, I don't know if it's going to work, but I want to try to create an offset so right here we have it offset and I'm going to place the mouse above or outside of the of the region of the edge that we have right here so it would be right here because if I place it right here then this sketch is going to assume that I want it to be like uh, inside I want it to be created like inside of the of the profile but I want it like outside so I'm gonna to place a place it right here and I'm going to select this tool so um, this would be an offset of right here we have six millimeters right here we have 12 which means that right here I have three and right here I have three as well so three millimeters enter there, right there we have it let me confirm that right here I should have a radius of six millimeters it is correct which is the same diameter of 12 millimeters what's left is to close this shape right here using these two tools And I'm getting out of this sketch. I'm going to create the pocket. And this has a depth of 
three millimeters as you can see right here so three enter and right there we have it this is pretty much all the figure all we have to do because what's left is to create just the the fillets so we're going to start creating that by using the edge fill fillet sorry and all we have to do is to select the faces or the edges in this case i'm going to select the faces because it's faster i'm going to select this face this face as well then I don't know, yep, this face as well. And then this face. And let me see right here, I think that's better. I have to deselect this edge. All right. As you can see, right here, I do not have a uh, uh, billet. It is just on the edge of this part, right? So right here we have it, right here we have it as well, through the entire, the entire edge. Right here we have it on the side part of the surgeon as well, right here and right here. So I think that I've select, selected all the edges. I'm going to define then the radius of the edge, which I can find, let me see right here, 1.5. So 1.5, preview, it, lo it looks good. Okay. Okay, this is a warning, this is not a mistake. This is just uh, a warning. So close, and that would be all, guys. <clears throat> this is pretty much it. This is how you can create this exercise, taking into account this 3D, this 3D element. Remember, for when you want to create at an <clears throat> an engineering draw, please do not create duplicates of the same dimensions. Please make sure that you are referring either to the um, first option for you to create the the, the views uh, which is the I think the ISO <clears throat> and then the European then we have the European but um, you have to make sure that this is correct you have to make sure that you are telling the the person who is reading the then you can draw the the correct the correct unit system and this is pretty much it please take take into account as well the proportions as i mentioned before and <clears throat> that would be all guys this is how you can create this 3d model using katia v5